After every night of racing, we remove the oil filter, so to it that we can cut it apart and inspect it for metal shavings, debris, anything that may be going wrong inside the engine, like bearing wear, anything like that, we can pick that up by finding shavings inside the oil filter. First thing we're gonna do is remove this hose clamp, which prevents the filter from backing off in the event that it would come loose. It just has a tang on the back side of the mount that the hose clamp hits, and when the clamp stays tight, it prevents that filter from rotating. Then we take our filter wrench and break loose the oil filter, and spin, then break it loose and spin it off by hand. Now that we've got the filter off of the car, we're gonna cut it apart with this oil filter cutter, specially designed just to do that. And you just run it in like a pipe cutter and just start to circle around it and gradually rotate the handle as you circle around it. Okay, now we have the oil filter cut apart. And so we're gonna peel it apart here now and pull out the actual filter, filter element. One of the most important things to look for in the filter is shavings at the bottom of the can. So we pour the oil out onto the filter and then inspect the bottom of the can. And there's just normal, what I call metallic paint, which is just a small amount of metal shavings inside the filter. Okay, so now we're going to start to fold open the element and inspect for, like I said earlier, debris, silicone, metal shavings, anything that may be in there. And as of right now, I don't see anything outside of normal wear, which means the bearings are in good condition, the valve springs, all that stuff is in good condition. Okay, now everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and put the new filter on the engine. And that concludes how you service an oil filter on a 410 engine. For The Last Lap Live, I'm Mike Linder.